Hi, this is Matt from Gedzilla.org, and today I want to do a video review of the iMate 9502. Uh, check out my site, Gedzilla.org. I've already done the video unboxing of the 9502, and this is more of just a video review and uh, just general um, look and feel of the device and my feedback and basically a review. So, here we have the 9502. Um, like I said, I've already done the video unboxing, but this more is really just a review of the device so you can see the hardware in action and just get a better feel of uh, what it is we're talking about here. So the, the 9502 is kind of unique, um, and the reason why that is is they really kind of changed up the design of Windows Mobile. Uh, this is a slider, as you can see here. Uh, slider device with a QWERTY keyboard in the middle there. Uh, so, if we can get through the reflections here, you can see how it changes from landscape to uh, vertical mode. The uh, slider is uh, spring-loaded, so it's got some good action there, and just kind of let go and the way it goes. Um, let's close it up here and go back to the main screen. And let's take a look at the uh, size of the device. The device is pretty big, um, but it's got a lot of great things in there. Um, let's take a look at the thickness here. And, and let's review what's on the side here. On the side here we have a uh, rocker bar or scroll wheel um, that's push activated. The scroll wheel is a little recessed into the device so it's a little difficult to scroll. Plus it's kind of tight but it also has button action so if you press in uh, that has an OK button there. OK button right down there again uh, that's the comm manager right there and mini USB. Uh, below the battery case which is back here uh, is the micro SD slot um, it's not below the battery, it's right alongside, uh, right in here, so all you have to do is take the case off and put the card in. You don't have to power the phone down or take the battery out, so that was some good thinking there. On the other side of the device is a volume rocker up and down. Um, that's the notes manager and the camera button. Down below is the uh, small uh, headphone jack you'll see there, so it doesn't take the standard size. It takes their special headphones that come with the device. So on the front of the device, you'll see the uh, quick launch buttons there. Uh, you have IE and, uh, and uh, mail up top there. Uh, up front here, you have a front-facing camera for 3G video conferencing. Uh, that's not going to happen here in the U.S. anytime soon, but keep our fingers crossed. Uh, down on the bottom here, of course, we have all the typical buttons you see on a Windows Mobile Pro phone. Okay. The... Uh, uh, menu buttons here, right and left click, the OK button, the uh, phone initiate button, the phone hang up button, and the four way rocker with the middle key, pre key, key press as well. Uh, and then on top we have power button and the stylus that pops out here. So, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the general consensus of the phone is, is that it's a decent phone. One, it's, it's a 3G UMTS phone. Uh, so it does run in, on uh, 3G on AT&T, but um, it's slightly hampered just by Windows Mobile. I think the hardware is actually really great. Uh, it's a great design, but, you know, it's Windows Mobile 6, um, so it's a little uh, lethargic, but, you know, I'm sure with some tweaking and maybe I might, it's going to come out with some new updated ROMs as the device gets deployed out there, uh, so maybe you'll see a better speed improvement. Uh, the device is pretty much a kitchen sink. It pretty much has everything. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, like I said, 3G, uh, quad band, so in Europe as well with 3G and here in the States. And uh, 3 megapixel camera with autofocus. Um, some gripes on the device is the keyboard. Um, let's take a look. Let's see if you could take a look at the keyboard. The keyboard is a little small um, for the size of the device, which is a little shocking. Um, the keys themselves are too small, and the way they're shaped... Uh, they're slightly bubbled, but not bubbled enough to make good contact with the tips of your fingers. Uh, I've seen other devices where the keys are a little more uh, recessed, and they have a little more kind of pyramid shape to them, so they're able to be able to hit them a little better. Um, that's about it, and you can see how the keys are just they're just a little too flat. But I do like the spring action of the, the slider. Uh, the phone does not have any auto rotate function, so. You can spin all day long and nothing's going to happen. Uh, it is touch screen though, so that's nice. Uh, if you don't want to use the stylus, you can use your finger, uh, navigate that way. Um, Size-wise, it's a little thick, 
Uh, it's probably not fair to compare it to an iPhone, but you can kind of see uh, width-wise, it's not, or length-wise, sorry, it's, you know, it's kind of long uh, from an iPhone perspective, not terribly long. Of course, it's way thicker than you could ever imagine than an iPhone, um, and it's way heavier. Uh, it's all metal case, which is a nice build. Um, overall performance, like I said, it's a decent piece of hardware that's probably limited by Windows Mobile. Um, you know, maybe in the future, if a device like this with Windows Mobile 7, maybe tweaked and hammered so it works better, uh, could be an option for you. But this device pretty much has every, every feature you could ever want for in a pocket PC device, including GPS. Uh, I haven't tested GPS, but you could probably run Garmin Mobile 10 on there or Telenav or Google Maps with uh, the built-in GPS uh, if you just need basic navigation and no, uh, no turn-by-turn directions. Uh, Wi-Fi was good. I've used Wi-Fi on my home network, on my uh, uh, G and N network. This does not have N, of course, but uh, this has uh, G. Very good coverage. Uh, on the voice side, uh, no complaints there. And uh, this, with the other IMA devices that are coming out now, the one thing that I just kind of glazed over was the VGA resolution. So it's a higher resolution screen uh, than the other devices that are out there now, so you get a little more screen real estate from it. Um, probably look good if you load like Opera on there, uh, Opera 9.5, I bet you it looks fantastic. Haven't done that, but overall, overall pretty impressed with the hardware. Slightly uh, not impressed with Windows Mobile, but that's my take on it. If you love Windows Mobile, this is probably the device for you. This is the iMate 95, 9502 from iMate. And this is Gedzilla.org.